Hi, we're Diane and Jerry. Early this summer, we took our Ford Ranger for a truck camping trip. We started in Skykomish, Washington. We were checking the weather while we were camping, and the chance of rain at our campsite in Skykomish was... 100%. 100%. But moved to Leavenworth, where we explored the town and slept in the truck in a parking lot. And so far we've had a car blasting rap music, and then we just had somebody's car alarm go off. Our adventure continues in the Okanagan Wenatchee National Forest. Jerry has a piece of camping gear that he wants to show you because he loves it. We got rained on, and we had a close encounter. Cougar, cougar, cougar. We're heading kind of out of Leavenworth to the forest that we scoped out yesterday to find a camp spot, camp site or a camp spot. Oh. Cannot make it one word, a camp spite. Hoping we have a campsite no, we in don't. Skykomish. It's we just don't real have a spot. wet. There's going to be some camp spite on my part. <laughs> Trying to avoid Jerry's camp spite. We do have a campsite in Skykomish we can always go back to. We can always go back and uh, Wash the truck off. Wash the truck off? In the rain. Yes. Like this rain. Like it's straight. Oh, yeah, like it's out spitting. It's not real rain. Cougar, 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 cougar. That is what I saw yesterday. I told you I saw something. I hope it's focusing. Hi, Cougar. Look at him look right at us. Have you ever seen one in the wild nope. before? First time. We just saw the cougar and on this ridge. <laughs> and now Jerry's going out here to get wood. Better hope he's more scared of you than you are of him. He didn't seem to be too frightened at anything. No, he was just staring at us. Jerry's never seen a cougar in the wild before. I knew I saw an animal yesterday that was beigey and it was running on the side of the road. I'm definitely in cougar town. Frankly, my heart is still pounding. Jerry spent hours and hours and hours and days in the wood hunting and he's never seen a cougar before. He didn't see this one. I'm the one who shouted out cougar. He said, get the camera. Jerry keeps looking up the side of the hill while he grabs sticks for our fire. So someone came around from the campsite to let us know to watch out for bears. So looking back on that animal that I saw yesterday, he showed me a video of that bear. Like I totally saw the hind corners of that bear. It looks so light that I didn't think it could be a black bear, but when they have their winter coat, it's lighter than, it's not dark like this. Oh, there it is trying to get camp set up. I'm going to change into something warmer because it's in the 40s today and I'm freezing. How's it going, Jer? Great. Life's good. good. So, Jerry, take you a long time to start that fire? It started before I actually even got the firewood all unloaded. Yeah, what happened? Piece of my firewood bounced into it when I was throwing it off the top of the truck into the very hot bed of coals that the prior campers left. And it was not a small bed of coals, it was a significant bed of coals. So the lesson today is part of being a happy camper. Put your fires out. Just put your fires out. How would you put your fire out so you don't start a forest fire? Water. Water is good. What if I've run out of water? If you're water? a 12-year-old boy, pee on it. Do something. What if I put like a whole bunch of dirt on it? Wouldn't that kill it? Well, yeah, but you got to dig a hole to do dirt. Just go get water. There's water at the campground. Oh. There's a creek. I saw a drinking you fountain. Know, stir it up with your shovel and make sure it's out. Do something. Kill the fire. I don't know what time the people left, but it was still hot enough when we got here that I could have roasted marshmallows easily. We came, took the site, left to go find firewood and came back. We were gone for at least an hour and a half. Be responsible campers, folks. Especially on the east side of the mountains. Yeah, where are we at? We're up I saw the Creek Road, I think. Eight mile campground. Eight mile? Like Eminem? Detroit? That's what it sounds like, yes. <laughs> but as you see, we're not in Detroit. It doesn't look like Detroit. There are some spectacular trees. 
our widow fire. To our widow fire. And Which then it's plenty hot because there's a giant bed of coals under it. And then this tree. Isn't this tree spectacular? We have a big rock. We also have a really big rock. This is some no-name brand. The Forester Platinum came off Amazon, I'm sure. But it's a coal saw. Japanese design where the saw cuts on the coal versus the push. And this thing just chews through wood. You can process firewood really easy. Oh, I just want to cut this little piece in half because I'm trying to have a small fire. So, yeah. And this one came with this uh, cheesy plastic scabbard. It's cheesy, I thought, like a sword, but it's adjustable. So you can loosen it up and change the angle it hangs at. And it's quick disconnect. It doesn't mean much to me. I only use, I use it today for the first time and I've been using this for like a year and a half. But that thing's awesome. And there's a bunch of different brands. Uh, you know, the Chinese have copied them and, you know, it's probably on Amazon, there's probably five or six different brands. I don't know, but this thing here, if, if this broke, the first thing I'd do when I got home would order another one. You like that thing. I love this thing. I have an ax that I still carry, but I don't need. I probably could just leave it at home because I don't use it. I use this. For the motorcycle, when I go moto camping, as I guess it's called, I have a folding saw that's also a Japanese pole saw. That's a name brand one. Which one's made in Japan? The name brand folding one I have. And this one's made in China. China. <laughs> It rained last night. It kind of rained all night and it's still cold and wet. It's just too bad because this is a pretty cool place. But my hair just keeps getting bigger. Oh, I think a bug bit me on the nose. For a camp in the Pacific Northwest, you gotta be able to put up with a little bit. Wait, didn't we come here to avoid the rain? We tried. Uh, it was probably worse than we were. <laughs> we would have spent yesterday like this too. I think this says given up, but. <laughs> da, 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 panning, panning, panning. Oh. That long underwear, tall socks, and shorts. Woo! Those are sexy. And then under here, I'm dressed in layers. So I, that's why it felt like I was cuddling with the Michelin man all night. Because there's long underwear. Yeah. Bass playing t-shirt. Uh, sweatshirt. A faux sweatshirt. And a big puff. And I'm regretting that I didn't bring a knit cap. One year we did a tour of Washington State. And drove around the perimeter. And then down through Oregon. And back up. And we were staying actually in motels and stuff. We weren't even camping. On like day five or something, Jerry called it. We went up to bed and breakfast and stayed there for like two or three days because I couldn't travel anymore. I was just done. We didn't time it very well. We were pulling into each town as they rolled up the streets and then leaving before light. We're learning. Hey, Jerry, what you using there? Five dollars for the free. Spray bottle. A five dollar Harbor Freight spray bottle. And what do you use it for? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Anything that needs water sprayed on it, those dishes, wash your hands, spray off the dirty foot mat. This thing is awesome. <laughs> Perhaps that's five dollars I've ever spent. What happened when you went camping with your brother? Basically, he took it. Oh, he took control of it, huh? Yeah, three or four days we were camping together. He was using it to spritz his face because the weather was hot. And we were washing dishes. He just go, oh, I got to get one of those. And I was like, well, I don't need a sink. So I wiped the dishes down with soapy water or the Clorox wipes. Get the chunks off the paper towel, wipe them off with soapy 
rag or a Clorox, <gasps> and then you spray them off and, and spray dry them, and they're done. You don't have dirt, dirty dishwater to deal with. <laughs> Blow out my uh, AeroPress all over the place, and, which I did last camping trip, and went everywhere because I, I lifted it up and the bottom fell out of it, and coffee grounds, everything went everywhere. Close it off. For more videos about camping and camping gear, click here. And down here is a video that YouTube picked out just for you.